Good God, what a day! Hello everybody. Um, there we are, Tuesday. It's been a hell of a long ass day. Um, but not many hours, if that makes sense. It's just been a long day. Um, yeah, just things have not been right. Loaded this morning. Took him into a minute. I can never say that. Took him into a dock near Humberside. In Mingham. There we go. Um, and they weren't booked in, sat around for ages, until they were booked in, got rid of it. Sat around for ages then trying to find some new trucks that I was supposed to pick up, which are now back there somewhere, two of them. Um, and because I wasted so much time getting tipped and getting reloaded, um, I can't tip today. So I'm now sat in a truck stop called Lodge Farm Cafe on Saturday 17 near Hull Beach. Um, running into Witness, no not Witness. Whiz Beach in the morning, two different companies, two different drops. So I said the other week I was going to do a bit of polishing. So as I got finished early today, because they don't they they knock off at four o'clock. So and uh, I'm not I'm packed up now. What, what time? Are six o'clock. Is it six o'clock? Yeah, six o'clock at night. I've uh, I've got the polish machine out, done the latex gloves, and done a bit. Um, not bad. Very very quick. Um, the machine I use is brilliant. The truck has not been touched as I said before the truck's not been touched for a long time. Um, well, to be honest it's never been touched, never been polished. Um, no metal polish or anything like that. So the um, all the checker plate that I've filmed, I'll, I'll put that up in a minute, the checker plate is very uh, tarnished and um, it's going to take more than what I've got with me today to uh, to get it up. So I, w I will probably end up taking it off and taking it home and doing it properly at home. The uh, fuel tanks have come up quite well, um, as have the two centre pieces of catwalk. Um, they're, uh, they're not checker plate though then. But uh, watch the video, see what you think, you see the process. Um, I will speed it up because you don't need to sit and watch it all. You don't need to listen to the truck ticking over as well. I had to have the engine running as I was running off the inverter, so obviously I don't want to flatten the batteries. Um, have a look, see what you think. I'll see you at the other side. So there you go. Like I say, I speeded it all up so you don't have to uh, sit and watch it all. It come up quite well, to be fair. Um, it's nowhere near show standard. It's nowhere near the standard I'm, I'm, I normally get it to. But for probably, I think the video was 12 minutes long when I filmed it. Um, I'd probably normally take a couple of hours on that piece of catwalk, a piece of checker plate. But um, for the truck that it's on, yeah. Look out my mirror, I can just see it. I'm happy. Ish. So there we go, that's it, that's it anyway for that. Um Yeah. So um yeah last weekend anyway, so we'll get back to welding and what I do on a weekend. Uh last Friday you saw me if you've watched the video, 
you will have seen me making a um, a Star Wars themed lamp. I had a, a TIE fighter and an X-Wing fighter posed, if you like. On, on a base, uh, and then I put a lamp over the top. Didn't like that lamp, took it off, put a different one on. Um, and that's where I left it last week, intending to put the LEDs in this week. Uh, however, I got thinking about it that night, and the lamp's not finished. It's just a couple of bits of piece that I don't... It's just not finished. So, you know me. I had these cut. Have a look, see what you think. I've got a good friend that uh, does water jet cutting. So just cut these out, three mil plate for me. So have a look. Pretty cool, aren't they? The plan for them is the uh, the Star Wars logos. They're uh, they're going to go in the end of the light. So the Star Wars um, text, the actual wording, going to go in one in each end of the light. He's done. He's done two extras. <coughs> and the um, the Rebel Alliance symbols. He's done me two different sizes because I wasn't sure what size I needed. Uh, and the intention for that is just to stand it up at the back, weld it onto the round bar and stand it up at the back, just to give it a bit more, fill, fill it out a bit. It just looked a bit sparse, just to fill it out a bit. So that's the intention. Um, Friday, possibly Sunday, don't know. My lad's birthday on Friday, we'll be at school. If I get home in time, I'll get it done Friday, get the wiring done. Um, Oh yeah, another idea for that Rebel Alliance is I can hide the control panel behind behind it, just double stick it to the back of it. Because I kind of screwed up and I wasn't sure I was going to hide that anyway. But there we go, so that was that side. Um, so yeah, I'll get that done this weekend. That will be finished this weekend, ready to rock and roll and ready to go. And then... Um, um, I, ain't got, I ain't really got anything else on my mind, uh, in mind, should I say. Um... I've got plenty of things I want to do. I need to make a barbecue for home. I need to finish a barbecue smoker, but I need a nice day to do it. Um, I've got everything in to do that. I just need the nice weather, because I need to work on the outside. That's sold as well. Uh, customers are waiting for that. That's about it. So, a bit of a different video from what I normally do. Um, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed the polishing bit. For those of you wanting to know um, the products I used, um, you'll see me use a white cloth, a pink cloth, not pink, yellow, a white cloth and a yellow cloth. The white cloth is terra toweling, same as what you used to use old school nappies, terra toweling cloth. And on that I used um, Autosol, which is just a metal cutting compound, it's um, readily available um, as a metal polish, it's actually a cutting polish. Um, and on the sheepskin head, the little, the flat black ones that I use, just on their own without a cloth, they're sheepskin, um, and that was or well, sheep's wool, should I say? Um, and I use something called um, white diamond. Um, that is a metal polish. That's a high shine polish. Uh, very very good product. Not the cheapest, but very very good. Um, Yeah, and then finally, on the yellow cloth, when I put a yellow cloth down, I put the buffer on that. Um, that's just buffing off. There's no there's no compound, no, no polish on that at all. So, if you have any questions about the polishing, ask somebody else. No, I don't mind. Ask me. Ask away. If I can help, I will. If I can't help, I'll find out the answer and I'll get back to you and let you know. Uh, I don't know everything. I know what I do and it works for me. Um doesn't always work for everybody else, maybe not the easiest way of doing it, but it works, as results in the past have shown. So, so I hope you enjoyed the video, I'll post up at the weekend um, at some point, uh, it's my lad's birthday as I said, on Friday we've got, we're going, oh he's going laser quest, he's going in laser zone for his birthday party on the Saturday, so I won't get much done on Saturday, so, but yeah, I'll post up at the weekend, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. I appreciate all the new subscribers I've got of lately as well. I've had uh, quite an influx over the last uh, couple of weeks, which is very good, very good, very appreciative. Uh, or appreciated, even. Um, keep them coming. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Bye.